change your drone's propeller as soon as you suspect something is wrong with it. It is really not worth having your $1,000 drone drop from the air because of one of these, which can cost as little as 10 US dollars for a pair. And so I always check the drones regularly um, for anywhere on their uh, their propellers, whether the leading edge, the trailing edge, discoloration, whatever it is, we're going to go through the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things that I check for very often to make sure that my drone is super safe in the air. Let's get into it. This video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com, so go check it out. It has tons more information, links out, links to other articles which really benefit the topic that we're talking about. So go check it out. And also, if this video is useful to you, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Head over to DroneFlyingPro.com because it is valuable for you if you like drones. I guarantee it. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna go through kind of the most obvious things. Now, as you're flying, now as you get more and more confident as a pilot, you probably get closer to things. I know I do, and I have had blades come into contact with things like overhanging branches. Um, I've never come into contact with like a wall or a cave or anything like that, but uh, there are tiny things out there, including bugs. Go check out my other video, my recent one about bees, where, your blades just come into contact with things and you try your best not to allow it to happen, but sometimes your confidence uh, just doesn't match what is happening that day. And uh, you know, my blades have come into contact with, uh, yeah, branches are the main thing and also bugs and uh, things that are on the floor while, while it's taking off. Um, and it may be blades of grass, it may be thicker things. And the thing is, if you're taking off without a landing pad, things can quickly get kind of thrown up into the propellers as the downdraft kind of blows the stuff away, then it gets sucked back in through the top. And so uh, it can actually cause your blades to have chips in the front and the tailing edge of the uh, propeller. So that's the first thing. If your drone comes into contact with anything throughout the flight, I would highly recommend having a look at the the leading edge of the drone. And what I like to do is uh, grab my thumbnail and or my, my other nail, any nail, doesn't matter. Um, and you just run it across the leading edge of the propellers. And this nail kind of approach is the easiest way to check for any of those nooks and cracks that may start to occur. Um, and yeah, that's all I do if I feel like I've come into contact with anything or if I've noticed a stone or a branch or a twig getting thrown up into the propellers while um, I've been flying. So there's the first thing, any contact, get yourself some new propellers. It is worth it, I guarantee you. Any heavy landing that your drone goes through could actually impact the propellers. Now, any landing where you're kind of coming in nice and nothing's touching the floor, then uh, that's great. But sometimes a gust of wind just tips the drone and it can sometimes sort of uh, nook just the very ends of the propellers. And uh, this touching of the floor, I've done this actually, while I was coming in from the Warren Bungles and I was landing on a rock and I just moved to the side and I clipped the, the side of one of my propellers just as I was landing. Cause you know, the drone is always trying to compensate for wind, but sometimes it's just not fast enough if a gust comes up quickly. And so uh, quickly landing your drone and then seeing it bonk, to one side could actually end up causing damage to the blades and the smallest amount of touching that happens at high revolutions can cause is issues so go get that checked once again use your fingers use your thumbnail touch use your pads across the entire surface of the propeller and make sure that uh, you don't feel any cracks or chips the propellers that are used on drones are typically like a reinforced nylon, they can be carbon fiber, but the plastic molding techniques that they use means that they are very rigid, but they are not insusceptible to developing stress cracks and fractures if the blades haven't quite been manufactured uh, and haven't quite kind of 
gone through the, the rigorous uh, quality control that most drone propellers go through. So some can slip through. And so these stress cracks, you can barely see them, but uh, you can certainly feel them. And what I said before is get the pads of your fingers and run it across the entire length of the drone blade. And you're looking for any kind of bumps or cracks or any kind of rough surfaces that appear. Importantly, you also need to look right at where the propeller attaches to the motor. And for a lot of um, drones, you can just simply take off. I need two hands for this. Hold the motor still and take off the, uh, the propeller and then look underneath to make sure that where it is actually connecting to the drone is also free of cracks. Feel free to touch as often as you want. Um, you probably wanna wash your hands beforehand because some grease on your hand can um, sort of slowly eat away at some of the plastic coatings. But overall, you're looking for cracks on the entire surface of the propeller. This one is fine, and if you find any, replace it immediately. The majority of the cracks and chips occur at the leading and tailing edge of the drone propeller. And so, like I said, what I do is use my fingernail and thumbnail, and I run my nails across the entire length. And this will, will show you exactly where all of the cracks and bumps are. And if there are any obvious chips, I get rid of the propellers immediately. Um, and if I'm not sure, I also just get rid of the propellers and replace them with new ones. Now, I always carry a spare set with me in my bag. Now the thing is, is that as long as these do not go through the same sort of hassles as the other ones, i.e. the same temperature cycling. So sometimes I'm using my drone out in the sun and my bag is also sat in the sun. And really if these propellers have to, you know, are gonna be used uh, to replace the propellers on the drone, I don't want them going through the same situations as the drone because it can cause the same stress fractures. And also just being sat in my bag regularly means that they um, they can actually end up being crushed and twisted by other things in the bag as much as I try to keep them safe. So um, don't always carry them with you. You know, make sure that, uh, that if you have a spare set of propellers that you keep some at home and you don't just carry them all the time um, because you can actually end up introducing the same sort of wear and heat fractures um, or cold fractures in these uh, spare set. So uh, I take them with me if there's a mission critical kind of flight, but if not, they kind of stay at home um, if I'm just going for a hobby, kind of fly around the beach or something. So yes, cracks and leading edge and tailing edge chips, feel them. If you feel anything, replace. Here's one that I don't hear a lot and that is the noise of your drone. Now, I have got the DJI Mavic Air, not the two, the old school one. I love this drone for so many reasons. Go check out my other video about why I love this drone. Um, it's just, I think it's still one of the best drones that DJI have, have ever made. Um, but I know what this sounds like, and you can actually sort of like get a second sense they call it a second sense, a sixth sense, that's the one, more. Um, but you can get a sixth sense for how your drone sounds. And if you're noticing that it's kind of a little bit off, you know, this is a very high pitched noise drone. Um, the Mavic Pros, the Phantoms, even the Mavic uh, Air 2 is much quieter and a lower drone because it doesn't move as fast. The propellers are bigger. Um, but essentially, if I notice any change, a motor spooling up, more often, or it's struggling to uh, keep its position despite um, you know the the noise that I'm hearing. This always causes me to look at the propellers. So um, if I was to notice that this was to get even more high pitch, or that one of the motors was really struggling to uh, keep the drone um, in stable flight, then that is another reason to change your propeller. Another thing is discoloration. Now, heat and cold 
and chemicals and fingers and all sorts of things can attack the actual kind of structural integrity of the drone propeller. And really the first thing that you should look at is the coloration of the plastic or the carbon fiber um, or the whatever composite uh, propeller you are using. But discoloration is a very important aspect and it is one of the early warning signs that your drone uh, propeller is suffering from something and it's normally, uh, like I said, heat, chemical, um, and also what else? That's about it, really. Heat stresses and chemical stuff can really impact this. So um, make sure that you keep them out of the sunlight. Make sure you keep them out of extreme temperature fluctuations. Make sure that whenever you touch them, that uh, you have relatively clean hands. You haven't got oil or something caustic on your fingers. Um, and that will make sure that they last a very long time before you need to replace them. But yes, discoloration is a very important thing if you want to keep your drone safe in the air. If you notice it, swap it out. And lastly, if your drone has flown for approximately 300 to 500 flight hours, it is time to swap out the propellers. Some propellers will give away and give out without any sort of warning sign if they have been used for more than 500 hours. Normally, you look at your drone, you're like, oh, well, it's fine, you know, whatever. But if it's 500 hours and it's been a couple of years, just replace the propellers. Like I said, you can buy, you can find them online for as little as 10 to $25, and it is completely worth it to keep your drone safe. So keep track of the flight hours with the propellers and between three to 500 hours or one to two years, whatever makes you feel comfortable, um, make sure that you swap out the propellers in that time or that flight time. So there we have it. That's when you should change your drone propellers. Let me know in the comments what you would add to that list and happy flying. Until next time, see you in the next video.